What's up, everybody? Uh, before we get into this new episode, just one quick announcement. Richmond, Virginia, we pulling up November 14th to the Richmond Funny Bone. Go get them tickets ASAP. Washington, D.C., we pulling up November 16th for the biggest show of the year at the Warner Theater. If you're looking for love, make sure you go get them tickets at martinamini.com. New York City, I can't wait to see you guys November 30th at the Town Hall Theater. I still think there's a few tickets left, so if you want to get those tickets, go to my website, martinamini.com. Also, Los Angeles, we pulling up January 14th to the Hollywood Improv. All those tickets are available at martinamini.com. And for all the other upcoming 20 cities in 2024 and 2025, go to my website, martinamini.com. Love you guys. Can't wait to see you on tour. Cha ja, ja, ja. Houston, Texas, night number two, Saturday shows. Uh, we don't know what to expect. Last night was probably one of the best nights of comedy for 2024 in Houston, Texas. Um, we don't know what's in store, but that's the, that's the exciting part about comedy. We never know what's gonna happen. We don't know if people are gonna find love. We don't know if people are gonna break up. Anything could happen. That's what makes every episode amazing. One thing I have noticed so far, the men here are very masculine and they're very romantic which is a deadly combination. Uh, the women have been bringing their A-game as well. You know, a lot of uh, qualified women, you know, a lot of uh, six-figure income women, strong, independent. It's exciting to see for Houston, Texas. And uh, yeah, man, we're having a good time. Uh, Houston's one of my like favorite cities. Um, I get to like link up with a lot of people here that uh, I'm homies with, you know, shout out to the homies at, at Deals Brand. Shout out to my wife, Charlene. Are you having a good time? Yeah, it's a great time. What do you think about Houston so far? Houston's fun. Houston's been lit. It's been crazy. Yeah, I like how we're in this mysterious we're in this mysterious alley right now. <laughs> near the you know, near the dumpster, but you know, this is the only way I can just kinda like kick back before the show, so I'll take it. And uh, yeah, man, thank you guys for watching the YouTube shows, man. We've been growing exponentially. I would say take this moment right now to subscribe and like and drop a little comment. Think, tell me about what you think about this particular episode and I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Peace. You're almost 30? Oh, okay. Good for you. I'm almost 30. <laughs> no, like, you, you look good. You're here with your lady, too? Nice, bro. Night out. 25. He's 25. <laughs> Damn, man. Your girl's a fucking snitch, bro. <laughs> she doesn't love you at all, bro. If you got pulled over, be careful. <laughs> the drugs are in the car, sir. <laughs> How long y'all been together and shit? No, we don't know. Five years. Five years. Oh wow! Since you were twenty years old. <laughs> so you you been twenty nine? You have you got a job and shit? Yeah. yeah. What do you do? I own a barbershop. You own a barbershop? Wow, that's fucking fire, bro. And uh, what's the name of your barbershop? Innovations Barber Studio. Innovations Barber Studio. Has anyone here heard of it? Oh. It's terrible. <laughs> God damn, bro. Houston Improv just gave you a thumbs down, bro. <laughs> you ain't popping, bro. For, for almost being 30, you're, you're not doing <laughs> You might as well be 25 because you got a long way to go, big dog. She was trying to help you, bro. He's up and coming. <laughs> nah, but barbers are, you know, barbers are, you know, it's, a, it's an exciting time to be a barber, you know? And now you guys are, do you do like the social media shit? You do the content? You're a content creator? You know? No, no, okay. Maybe you should. <laughs> no, it's okay. You know, if you were younger, maybe you'd be more up on that shit too. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's okay. And how'd you how'd you meet the how'd you meet your lady? Uh, mutual friend. Mutual friend. Oh, in Austin, in Austin Texas. <laughs> oh wow. And then you guys uh, now you guys live in Houston. It's a five year relationship. It's serious. Yeah. You have a daughter, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you guys married? Are you guys married or not? No. no. Oh. oh, wow. Damn, dog, this crowd really hates you. <laughs> now, 
Nah, he's, he, he, I think he, he, he's making, he's the way he's looking, he's like, dog, I'm saving, he's, I think he's saving up because he got to do more shape-ups. <laughs> you know, he got, he's saving up more tapers, yeah, more fades, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's saving up for the, you know, is she, is she the one for you? Oh, he said, yeah. He said, yeah. He said, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, bro. You're, 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 your girl's intimidating as fuck, bro. I feel like she fucks this guy. <laughs> Like, yeah, take that, take that, take that. <laughs> I thought I told you that we won't stop. I thought I told you we won't stop. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the Innovations Barbershop. <laughs> oh, man. Nice to meet you, Big Doug. Who, who here is under 25? Under 25. Oh, wow. You're, oh, you're under, you're under 25? How old, how old are you? You're 20. Wow, bro, you look old as fuck, bro. <laughs> you look older than this guy. Wow, you're young. Did you grow up in Houston? Yeah. yeah okay, okay, and you, yeah, okay, and yeah. But you know, you, but you're, uh, are you? Would you consider yourself like a, a masculine man? Yeah. Yeah. You, you, wait, now you say you don't know. <laughs> Homie's like, damn, dog, am I masculine? <laughs> it's okay. It's, it wasn't a trick question. <laughs> Homie's like, damn, I don't know, bro. <laughs> Oh, you're a nice guy, bro. You know, you seem like a, you're, you're, uh, you're what we call like a cute homie. Yeah, he's like, stop. <laughs> you're more of a sensitive homie, huh? You're more in touch with your feelings? Yeah, yeah. You are. Say it. Like, yeah, I mean, like, it's okay. He's like, stop. <laughs> what's, your, what's your name, big dog? Pedro. What is it? Pedro. 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 Nice to meet you, Pedro. 20-year-old Pedro. You grew up in Houston. What part of Houston are you from? Northside. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the barber. Uh, <laughs> you guys should hang out, bro. You guys are both. It looks like you both get fucked by your girl. <laughs> it must be a Northside thing. Northside, yeah. <laughs> ja, ja, ja. Ja, ja, ja. Like, I don't know shit, bro. <laughs> Pedro's cute as fuck, bro. He's a nice guy. You guys look romantic as fuck, bro. You look like a masculine man. Uh, how long you been with your lady? Your friends? How long you been friends for? A while? Like years? A couple years? Two, about a year? Five. Five? Fuck. You been trying to fuck for five years, up? What the fuck, bro? You say, why, what? Been there, been there, been there. Okay, it, it didn't work out. You keep it now, you keep it cool. Complicated. Yeah. The sex is good, but it's like, it's complicated. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Houston, this is a love story waiting to happen. Well, you know, I wish you guys the best. You got a job and shit? Yeah. Fuck, I can't, yeah. I guess relationships are hard, huh? Yeah, it's hard to make it work. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, I don't know. I, I just think it, a lot of things got to line up for a relationship to work. But you just can't leave the pussy alone, huh? <laughs> I get, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, how old are you? You're, are you a young dude? I'm 43. Man. You're 43? Fuck. <laughs> Fuck, I was hoping this guy was like 23. Like, nah, bro. <laughs> Fuck, bro. All right, all right. So you, you just, you, you all just living life. You out here. Yeah, Houston's toxic, dog. <laughs> All right, 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 fuck. I already talked to the barber. I'm looking for some, you know, single over here, over there. Oh, my God, who the, snitching ass. <laughs> okay, 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 let's see, let's see. Single people make some noise. Over here, over here, over here. What about the, over here, what about this table? No, you, oh, shit, oh, wow. Wow, that was a masculine voice, huh? Yeah. Right there, there. Nah, they're shy. They're shy as fuck, bro. Single right here? Okay, okay. Shut the fuck up. Horny as fuck, bro. I drove three hours for some dick and pussy. Ah. Okay, okay, okay. What's your, what's your name, sweetheart? What's your name? What's your, huh? What is it? Julita? Julissa, Julissa, and where are you from? 
McAllen. Oh, okay, fire, bro. How, how, how long you, uh, Julissa, how long you been single for? You don't want to say? Okay. Are you like, are you, are you like, uh, are you healed? Are you, uh, are you ready to get back out there and, and try to get like a wholesome relationship? Are you looking for a good guy? You don't want to, you don't want to, you, you don't want what? You don't want nothing. Then why the fuck am I talking to you right now? <laughs> God damn, wasting my fucking time and shit. Hmm? You say what? Houston men are trash? Mm. Yeah, no, 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 boo. Yeah, no, I, don't, I disagree. I disagree. I, we, you know, I, you can't say that about all Houston men. Yeah, maybe your pussy attracts trash men. <laughs> maybe. We don't know, you know? Right, right? Nah, she set herself up. We'll find, we'll find. We're gonna find it. Well, you know. But I will say, uh, it's been hard to find a good guy tonight. <laughs> I will say that, you know. But you know, I feel like uh, I feel like there might there has to be a you know a masculine man with a job. Oh, this. Over here? Okay, let me see. This guy right here? No. Oh, wait, who's that guy? This, you wanna, what about you? With the little buttons off. Are you, you single, big dog? Yeah, you're single? How tall are you? Huh? 5'11"? You got a job and shit? Yeah, what do you do? You're a, you're a what? You're a what, operator? Large format operator. <laughs> that shit sounds expensive, bro. <laughs> you wanna come on stage, big dog? Let's see if we can find you a match, bro. Come on. Let's go. Let's see what this guy looks like. All right. Hey, come on. Come on, big dog. Oh, yeah, man. All right, here we go, man. That's what's up, bro. We gotta get this guy shape up at this, but uh, let's go. Come on. Nice to meet you. Come on over here. Don't be shy. Tell me your name, big dog. Anthony. Anthony, and uh, tell me your job one more time. Uh, large format operator. Large format, okay. And so what kind of girls, what's your like, what do you usually like date, Brew Dog? Don't discriminate. You don't discriminate. Okay, okay. How long have you been a virgin for? <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's a nice guy. You're a cute dude. Who are you here with? These are your homies right there? That's my uh, little cousin and her fiance. Oh, you the third wheel, Big Dog. <laughs> Nah, we're gonna find you someone. There's a lot of other, there's some third wheels here that we can maybe match you with, you know? So let's see, like, are you a romantic homie, Anthony? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, you're for sure. You're like a chill dude, huh? You're a quiet guy? Uh, sometimes. Sometimes. Mysterious. <laughs> yeah. You're, oh, you're, you're Bolivian? You're, where's your family from? Uh, mother from Bolivia and my father from Mexico. Wow, Bolivian Mexican. Interesting. All right. This guy's got sazon, bro. All right, Anthony, don't be so nervous, bro. Relax, chill out, chill out. <laughs> chill out, relax. Loosen up, big dog, you tense as fuck, bro. All the, look at all the tension in your fucking shoulders, bro. You gotta, listen, to attract the pussy, you gotta like fucking ready. You gotta, you, you, no, 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 you're doing good, bro. You don't, need to, you don't need alcohol to get bitches, bro. Just relax, just take it easy, bro. You're already fucking exposing half your chest as fuck. <laughs> Motherfucker like, I'm uncomfortable. Motherfucker, look at your shirt, bro. What the fuck? How you uncomfortable with the fucking showing, you know, exposing your whole chest and shit? All right, relax. Let's get to know your personality. You know, you gotta, we gotta win the girls over with your, your, your charm and your personality. You got nice hair. You, got, you know, you, you, got, you got something going, but you gotta like, you know, right now your personality's weird, okay? No, it's okay. It's okay, but we're here to guide him and help him. Everyone shut the fuck up. We're here to help Anthony. We're not here to tear him down. We're trying to build him up. But right now, he needs a little bit of uh, support and masculinity. So, Anthony, tell us, uh, you know, uh, if you were to find, like, a really nice girl tonight that matches your vibe, that's, like, sweet and wholesome, where would you take her, like, on a romantic first date? Use your personality and be, you know, be masculine, too. Romantic first date. I like Fogo the Chow. They have pretty good food. Uh, Fogo the Chow. Probably some mini putt. Uh, there's some nice spots in Midtown. So. Okay. So like a little Brazilian barbecue mini putt, wholesome vibes, okay. All right, 
And uh, let's see, like, a little, the, you know, some girls, they want to know, like, your, like, you know, how ambitious you are. What are some of your goals for the next five years? Do you see yourself, you know, working at the same company, or do you want to advance? Uh, I see myself working at the same company because it's a family-owned store. So uh, I'd potentially start running it, open up more. Oh, so one day you might open up the business and expand more. You're like an entrepreneurial homie, huh? Oh, okay, all right. This guy's kind of boring, huh? <laughs> It's okay, bro. Now, this is, this is the ne ne next question is very important. Anthony, I have a very important question because right now we got to spice things up a little bit. Do you eat pussy? Yes, I do. He said, yes, yes, I do. <laughs> yeah! All right, Anthony. Good answer. All right, we can work with that. All right, Houston. Which girl wants to get their pussy in tonight? <laughs> It's the late show on Saturday, bro. He's got a job. He's over 5'10". This guy's got a lot going for him, man. If any girl here is interested in Anthony, make some fucking noise. Oh, yeah, we got one over there. Oh, yeah, one girl wants to get her pussy eaten. Let's go, bro. Let's fucking go. Right, well, come on, come on, come, come say hi to Anthony. Come on, let's go. Come on, come on, go on. Yeah, let's go. Here she comes, Anthony. Yeah, she's doing, oh. yes, nice, there she is, uh, very nice to meet you, what's your name? Uh, Gabby. Keep it going for Gabby one time, yes, Gabby and Anthony, nice, all right, is there any other single girls here in Houston, you know, looking for some love that's interesting, you want to come and say hi, to come on, come on, say hi, come say hi, come say hi to Anthony, hurry the fuck up, let's go, come on, yeah. Let's go, come on. She was like, what happened? Oh, what happened? You were excited. You're, oh, you're shy. Oh, okay, okay. Well, how long you been single for? Two years? Okay, and did, did, are, you, are you like, you know, do you like what you see though? Do you think he's cute? Yeah, he's okay? What did you like about him? Was it the job? Was it the, 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 the Bolivian-Mexican mix? Or was it the eating pussy part? <laughs> This, is, this might be your moment. You never know. You might miss love. You're going to let, you know, okay, okay. We're no pressure. We don't force vibes here at Houston. We just, we let, we go with the vibes, you know. Okay, we'll, we'll give another opportunity to anyone. Is there any other single girls here interested in Anthony? Oh, wait, what? Okay, relax. A little forcing the vibe. Don't, hey, Diddy, relax, dog. <laughs> this girl right here. Let's tape it and put it on YouTube. Yeah, now relax. No, 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 this is your chance. Any other girls here interested? No? Okay. All right. Well, fuck. Let's see what happens. Let's, let's, see. let's see what happens, man. All right, Anthony. All right. Tell me your name one more time. Gabby. Gabby. All right, Gabby. Tell me, uh, tell me like, uh, where, where do you live and what do you do? Uh, well, I live here. I live uh, probably like 10 minutes from here, but I'm a hairstylist. <laughs> Fire. Now, when you saw Anthony, like, what caught your attention? Ooh. <laughs> Oy. Okay, 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 okay. I like that energy. Big pussy energy out here, bro. I like that. I like that. I like Houston women, bro. Houston women run shit out here, bro. They take what's theirs, and then they fuck them later. Yeah! You got fucking, I like your vibes, bro. I like that. So, you know... Nah, fucking, you know, this was really cool. I like the energy. Now, because you know why I like them? Because, like, it, they kind of complement each other. Because, like, you know, hey, Anthony's a little bit chill, kind of quiet, you know? And she, and she like, nah, he fucking mine. <laughs> nah, but nah, but, you know, Anthony, are you, are, you, are you feeling her too? You know, do you have any questions for her? Like, you know, she's really cool. I like her personality. What do you think about his idea of her first? Ooh. All right, relax. <laughs> oh, 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 ooh, whoa. Let's ask, let's, ask, let's, let's ask Anthony, how do you feel about this situation? No, she's cool, she's cool. Uh, I would like to know, I guess, is family, <laughs> is family important to you? Say, oh, she, she, uh, she, he, yo, yo, he had a question, he has a question. He, he, said, he asked you, is family important, is family important? Easy, easy. Yo, this crowd's horny as fuck, relax, bro. This, the, oh my God! Oh! <laughs> Hold on, relax. He had a question, he had one question. He said, is family important to you? F-O-E, family over everything. Oh. 
You like her? You want to take her on a date? Can we get a real fucking Bessel? Can we get a real fucking... Come on, baby. Come on, give her a kiss. Bessel. Bessel. Oh! Walk her down, big dog. Congratulations, Anthony. Congratulations, man. Yo, yo, take what's yours, man. Damn, bro. <laughs> yeah, nice. Congratulations, bro. Anthony. Anthony, she's, she's right there. <laughs> Exchange information, Anthony. Yeah, get that number, Anthony. Yeah. Call her, Anthony. Make sure it's real, bro. <laughs> wow. Man, shout out to the hairstyle. Man, that was amazing, bro. She really made the show, man. You guys are, should we keep going? Yeah! yeah! Wow. All right, man, all right, listen. We got, no, 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 we got to fucking, right now, the women are running shit, bro. I'm telling you guys, I, 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 we need a little bit more, you know, we need more, no, 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 shut the fuck. We need more, we need, we need, we need, listen. Man, we need confidence. We need masculinity. We need some charisma. Come on, this is gonna go on YouTube. We need Houston to represent tonight. Where is a, where is a Houston man with good jobs that's fucking confident right now? This guy right here? Okay, hold on. You got a job? You're con you wanna come on stage? All right, come on. Over there? What you got, you wanna come on stage? You got, come on. Come on, big dog. Let's go. All right, we're gonna see. Anyone else? Anybody else? That, that guy, okay, 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 okay. Little masculine homie right there, all right. Let's see what else, who else? Who else is coming, this guy right there? This guy's mad, but every, your point is, is he scared? Are you scared, do you wanna come on stage? You wanna come on stage, come on. All right. Over there in the back, you got back? Yeah, you got over there, come on in the back, come on, come on. Hurry up. All right, hurry the fuck up. All right. Wow, I like them. They're shaking each of the, comp the competition's hands. I like that. Yeah, bro, wow. They all look like cousins, bro. I like this. It's like different versions of Edgar, like the, the evolution of Edgar. Like all different sizes. Yeah. Yo, keep it going for all the Edgars you met tonight, bro. Come on. Come on, guys. Scoot on down, come on. Yeah. Let the ladies see you on this side. Let the lady, yeah, come on down, don't worry, don't be shy. Nice to meet you, big dog. I like your t-shirt. Nice to meet you, Edgar. Nice to meet you. All right, here we go. We're let everyone shut the fuck up. It takes a lot of balls to come on stage, so let's be supportive. All these guys are gonna be respectful. They're gonna get to know them, and then hopefully, you know, they don't let us down. You know, they show us confidence and masculinity. Let's get to know your name, big dog. Tell me your name, where you from, and what do you do? My name's David. I'm from Eastside, and I work at a refinery. Fire, bro. Okay, David. Okay, okay. What about you, big homie? Where you, where you, tell me your name, where you from, and what do you do? My name is Angel. Uh, I do logistics, and I'm from Angleton. Angleton. Okay, fire, fire. And what about you, big dog? My name is Asael. I'm from the east side, and I'm a terminal operator. Okay. Terminal operator? What about you, big dog? My name is Joseph. I'm a wind turbine technician. Okay. You said uh, a what kind of technician? Wind turbine. Wind turbine. Okay. All right. All right. All these homies got jobs and they got health insurance. All right. <laughs> That's all we need to know. All right. Don't be shy, big homie. Get the pockets out, bro. Now you good, bro. You guys are all good. You guys are all, you know. I'm trying to get it. You guys are, you know. So all you homies are, uh, you know, you're ready to be in committed relationships. You're not. You're 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 not a you're not a toxico. Nah, nah, not at all. Nah, you're. you're you going you you a romantic homie? Something like that. Okay, let's say let's say you met like a, a, a beautiful girl that's you know intellectual, wholesome, family oriented. Where where would you take a nice girl out on a date, big dog? Um, I personally like Japanese barbecue. You know, I'll take her there. There's a nice spot in Midtown. Okay, a little Japanese barbecue. All right, you you seem like a young home. How old are you? I'm 20. Oh, yeah. Be careful, ladies, you might catch a case fucking with this dude, bro. <laughs> Damn, bro, you gotta, did you bring a chaperone, big dog, or not? Nah? <laughs> okay, so you're 20, that might be a little tough. Is there any girls here around 20 years old? <laughs> nah, how old, are, how old are you? How old are you? I'm 21. You're 21? Are you single or not? Nah? Yeah? Oh, wow. 
Okay. Oh. Do you like, uh, what did you say, barbecue? Japanese barbecue. You fuck with Japanese barbecue or nah? You never had it before? Oh, this homie's like Aladdin. He can show you the world, dog. <laughs> What's up? You think homie's, uh, you know, turn around, show her the full body. <laughs> yeah, bro. He's a young homie, you said, from the east side? Or where are you from? Uh, Cloverleaf, right there by Channelview. Clover, Cloverleaf. Is that far? And where, where, where do you stay at? Chevrolet? Sugarland. Sugarland. I know where that's at. You got a, you got a, you got a car? Oh, I have a truck. Oh! You want, you want to come say hi and see? And see? She got a truck too. She got a truck too. Oh! All right, tell me your name, big dog. My name. Wait, what? What's your name? What's your name? David. David. Yo, is there any single young girls here interested in my homie David? Make some fucking noise. Oh, we got. It. How how old are you? No. You're 26. You wanna come say hi? Oh, you're shy. Are you shy or Asian? I can't tell. Eee. <laughs> say hee hee no. She's scared, but you're shy? Yeah. No, come. She said, come, you wanna, go talk, you wanna go talk to her down there? Would. You would? I would. Oh, yo. Yeah, you wanna go? All right, well, go, go you know, go pull up, go, go get her number. Go ahead, go. Get the fuck off the stage, bro. <laughs> Congratulations, big dog. All right, we got, we, we got rid of that guy. All right, he's young. All right, big dog. You're a good dude, you're, you know, you're a good looking dude, you got a nice eye, you got a nice smile, you know? Let's see, can you show, show the girls what your face looks like? Take, take, like, move the hat around. Okay, okay, all right, put it back up, put it back on. <laughs> all right, homie, are you like a, are you like a romantic homie, or, you know? How, first off, how old are you, big dog? 25. 25, okay, you're a little bit more mature than the last one, you know? <laughs> you know, but, uh, you know, but you got a job, you stable, right? Uh, if you were to meet, like, a really nice girl, bro, you know, this is where your, you know, your personality can shine. Where would you take, uh, where would you take, what the fuck is going on over here? <laughs> Liquid Kirk, oh, no, you got this big dog. Let's lock in. Where would you take a, a, a beautiful girl here in Houston out on a first date? There's this place I've been trying to go to. It's a candle making class and sushi as well. Aww. Wow, a lot of pussy just got wet, big dog. Good job. <laughs> candle making, that's very creative. Homie was very creative. Wow, good for you. All right, let's see, man. You're good. All right. G girls, you have any questions for him before? Should we be? No, no questions? Uh, tell, me, tell me your name one more time. Angel. Angel. All right, Houston. If there's any girl here that wants to go do a candle making class with my homie Angel, make some fucking noise. Oh, Angel. Nice, bro. You got the girls with the bad seats. I like that. Ladies, you want to come say hi to Angel? Come on down, ladies. Come on, ladies in the back. Come say hi. Let's go. Just hurry the fuck up. We got to hurry up. It's going to take two miles. Oh, is she, are they coming or no? Oh, there she is. She's coming. Yes. One girl's coming for Angel. All right. It's going to take about 10 minutes for her to walk down. Is there any other single girls interested in Angel? This dude's a romantic dude. He said, uh, he said, make candles, and what else did you say? Sushi at Soto. Sushi at what? Soto. At Soto. Y'all know about Soto? It's a sushi place. It's really good. All right. Anyone else? Any other single girls? Okay, never mind. Oh, here she comes. Oh, wow. Wow, what a match for you, Angel. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Liz. Yo, keep it going for fucking Liz. Wow. Move down, guys. Move down, move down. Give it, let Angel cook real quick, bro. He about to do a little hibachi real quick. All right. All right, Angel. You know, yeah, you, know this is, you did good. You got a match, bro. And let me ask you, tell me your name again. Liz. Liz, and what do you do for a living? I work from home. I'm a staffing uh, specialist. Ooh, staffing specialist. You work from home. You work remote and shit. Yeah. Fire. And when you, when you saw, like, uh, when you saw Angel from in the back of the room, what, what, uh, <laughs> what caught your attention about Angel? What you like about him that made you want to come and say hi? I could barely see him. <laughs> God damn. Yo, but she kept it real, though. She like, he had a nice voice from back there. 
No, but he said, remember he said uh, he was going to make uh, candle, candle, cl uh, candle classes and sushi. You fuck with, like, you know, yeah. would you want to go, you want to go make candles with him? Yeah, that's fine. Oh, okay, okay. Angel, are you feeling her? We can. We can find out. Oh, all right. Shut your horny asses up, bro. You got any, you got, you got any questions for him, though? You want to get to know him? What about you, Angel? You, wanna get, you got any questions for her? You want to get to know her a little bit? Definitely going to get to know her, so we'll go from there. Just... Uh, all right, Angel, come over here. Come on, homegirl. Let's go somewhere. What do you guys think? They look cute as fuck, huh? Should they go on a first date and make candles and eat sushi? Yeah. You know what to do, Houston. Beso, beso, go ahead. Beso. Ah, that was wholesome as fuck, bro. Grab her hand and take her down, bro. Oh, <laughs> nice. Keep it going for Angel one time, bro. There you go. All right, big dog, you're up next. Don't let me down, bro. I want to I wanna have masculine firme energy. I want to see some fucking charisma, some confidence, you know? You got it in you, I can tell. You have it inside you, man. You're a man's man. Just be yourself, trust, trust yourself, all right? Now tell me uh, a little bit about you, big dog. You said, what part of town you from? I'm from the east side. East side, now? Now, what kind of girls do you typically go for? What's your type? Blondes, brunettes, anybody pretty. Anybody pretty. All right. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We, uh, let's see. And, uh, okay. And so, uh, what kind of, like, okay. So, if you were to take a girl out, like, what's your idea of, like, a romantic first date for you? I'll probably do a, a steakhouse and then probably an activity after. Okay. A steakhouse and an activity. Fire. Okay. And uh, tell me, what's your job again? Uh, terminal operator. Terminal operator. So, is that, like, at the airport or? Nah, I said, uh, so right now I work at a Exxon and Baytown. Oh, Exxon. You work for an oil, oil company. Oh, that's a white woman. So you, got, so you got, like, money, money. Nah, I'm still in college. Oh, you're still in college. He's still in college. Uh, okay, where, where do you go to school? I go to school at St. Jack, and I'm going for a process technician. Process operator. Okay, fire, bro. Very cool. All right, homie's got goals and shit, bro. So uh, are, are you young, or how old are you? I'm 23. You're 23? Wow, okay, you're a young homie. All right, so we're gonna see what we can find. You know, is there anything else you wanna add? That, 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 you know, you wanna let the girls know about you? What makes you special from all the other guys, bro? Uh, nothing. <laughs> fuck, bro. Nah, 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 shut the fuck up. <laughs> homie needs, like, you know, a little bit of uplifting, you know? He's still in college, he's still growing, he's still learning, you know, we don't know. But like, you know, maybe uh, maybe you're, you're, you're young at heart, but you're very mature. Like, you know, you're a driven homie, and you know, if a girl, maybe she chooses you, like, you know, why should they choose you? I mean, I know what I want. I'm family orientated. I got my goals. That's about it. Okay. What are some of your goals? Shut the fuck up! Uh, I want to graduate college. I want to get my house, start my family. Just go from there. There we go, boom. That's what we want, yes! There you go, big dog. You did it. Good job. Asael. All right. If there's any single girls interested in my homie who's got some goals, he's driven, one day he's going to have a house with his family and shit. If any girl wants to go on a first date with the homie Asael, make some fucking noise. Ooh, I like the sound, bro. That pussy sounds spicy, bro. That's some caliente pussy. Ah! You want to come say hi to Asael? Come on down, ladies. Come on down. All right, let's see where they are. Where they are. Come on down. This is your moment. This is the last call for dick. We got to hurry up. We got to speed. Huh? They ran out. They ran out? Yeah. What do you mean they ran out? <laughs> they left? They went, ah! And then that was it? <laughs> Damn, bro. Your dick scared them, dog. <laughs> okay, is there any other single girls interested in Asael? Make some fucking noise. Okay. All right, you want to come on down? These bitches are playing games. <laughs> All right, ladies, this is it. I mean, I don't know. I, 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 we can't really do this from over there, you know? We gotta, you, gotta, you gotta come down. You wanna come and say just a couple, you know, quick questions and then we can see if the vibes are there? Oh, she's coming? Wow. Let's go. 
All right, here she comes. Is she coming? All right, I see someone moving. Walking slow as fuck. <laughs> Let's see, man. I saw you, you know. There she is, yep, yep. She might need a designated driver too, big dog. <laughs> but it's okay, you know. Yeah, no, no. All right, here we go. So, there we go. Let's, let's root her on. <laughs> nice, bro. But man, listen, man, she, she really, you know, she made a noise that, that it was very primal, and I think like, uh, we're, I'm very excited to meet her. She's gonna be, a, I could tell she's already a nice lady. I say, come on, say hi. Aww. Nice to meet you. Ah, Hi, I'm Martin. Nice to meet you. What's your name? My name's Ashley. Keep it going for Ashley, guys. Yes. <laughs> Ashley, what caught your attention about my homie? I saw the other one. What was that? What caught your attention when you, you know, when you saw him? What made you want to go, ah? Uh, <laughs> he has a good job, good goals. Um, we're kind of, I go to San Jack too, so. <laughs> Oh, little study buddy, big dog, yeah. Oh, that's fire. And what, what do you study as, uh, what do you study over there? What's it called, San Jack? Um, San Jacinto Community College. Fire, what do you, what do you study over there? What's your major? Um, I'm trying to, I'm doing my prerequisites for nursing. Oh, fire. A little nursing, okay, fire. Now, did you, do you remember what he said for like the, the, the first date? He was like a steakhouse and then maybe an activity later? Low-key, I do not remember what he said. I just said it, though. It was a... <laughs> Fuck. The future is not bright in Houston. <laughs> I know they say leave no man behind for... But maybe we gotta leave some people behind, bro. No, no, no. It's okay, it's okay. It's because I'm nervous. Oh, my God, there's so many people. Shut up, Brownsville, Texas. If anybody's from... Yeah, no, I don't think anyone's from there. <laughs> no, 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 it's okay. It's like, you're doing so good, Ashley. You're, we're so proud of you. We're so proud of you. I'm gonna talk to my homie real quick. So, you know, she came up here. I think, she has a, I think she's very wholesome. She's cute. She got a good personality. I think she might have a drinking problem. <laughs> no, 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 but, I, but she was cool as fuck. Y'all go to the same school, you know? You don't gotta drive that far. I feel like there's something there. What do you, are, you, are you feeling that? What do you think? What are you feeling? Yeah, she's cool. I'm down. Whoa! <laughs> What do you what what do you what do you what do you like about her? Well, shut the fuck up. What do you what do you like about her? I like her confidence. You like a woman with confidence, right? You don't want no you don't want no like low self esteem, bitch. You want a confident lady. Yeah, yeah. That's what you attracted to that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What do you think? Come on, Ashley. Come over here, big dog. Come over here, Ashley. Come on, Ashley. Yes. Come on. What do you guys think? You want to see a best song? Ask her if it's okay to give her a kiss. Yeah, give her a kiss. Yeah! Okay. All right, walk her down. Walk Ashley back to her seat in the back. Man. Wow. That was good, man. I was like, man, we got to get... I'm, I'm waiting for a fucking best bro. All right. You're my last chance, big dog. All right, don't let me down. We got to make sure that, you know, whoever you get is a good romantic match, you know, because this crowd is horny. <laughs> This crowd's in the audience like, yeah, best <laughs> Oh my God. Okay, 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 here we go. All right, let's see, and uh, tell me, uh, it's been a lot of young homies. How old are you, big dog? 27. Okay, a little bit more mature. You got a, you got a, you got a job and shit, you got, yeah, no, you got your, uh, you got your own place? Yes. You got your own place, fire, fire. And uh, are you family oriented? <laughs> oh, it's whatever. What about a girl? Do you think it's important for her to be family oriented or not? Or not? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. So you, you, so in the future, you want a family, you know, a strong family. Okay. So maybe your your background, maybe not so much, but your future, you want to change that. Yeah, maybe so. <laughs> okay. Sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Let's. Sometimes just sometimes just lie, dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. It's not like a. He said, you know, I want to be authentic, you know. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. How about this? Um, I'm trying to help you with shit. Uh, 
So like, what, 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 you know, tell us a little bit about your personality. You know, uh, did we talk about like where would you take a girl out? Like, what, what's your idea of like a romantic date? Let's go eat some tacos, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good tacos. What makes you like different from all the other guys here, like in this room, bro? Like, what, what makes you stand out? Why are you a? Uh, why should they choose? Why should they choose you here in Houston? Yeah? That's what they're going to say. They're going to say we're all the same. You know? No, but now but but nah, you're supposed to like represent for Houston. Represent for H-Town, bro. I've been in Houston all day, but... Yeah, but say something. Not for the... Okay. Oh, okay. So you're more like a mysterious homie? You're like, a, you're like you got to get to know me first and shit. <laughs> you know, maybe over tacos, you know? Okay, okay. Cilantro and onion. Okay, some girls got excited. I don't know. Okay, fire. I like that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Fire, fire, fire. All right, man, we, we, let's see. Let's see, you know, maybe we can find you a good match, big dog, you know. And tell me your name one more time. Joseph. Joseph. All right, single ladies. This is your moment. This homie, he, he's a down-to-earth homie. He's a, he's, a, he's a taco, chill vibes, low, laid back, you know, casual. Maybe one day, family-oriented, maybe not. <laughs> is there any single girls here interested in my homie Joseph? Make some fucking noise. Oh, over there. Oh yeah, you wanna come say hi to Joseph? Let's go! All right. <laughs> Joseph got a match, big dog. Let's go. Let's see, H-Town. Can you handle that? Wow. Nice to meet you. Go claim your man. Yeah! Ooh, very nice, man. Let's see, I think there's a moment. taller than her in here. Oh, oh! Any other single girls interested in my homie Joseph? You want to come up? You want to come up? Come on. Hurry the fuck up. Oh, she, here she comes, bro. We got some competition. Hiya! All right, let's go. What's your name? Rachel. Keep it going for Rachel one time. Yeah. Very nice, Joseph. Way to shake her hands. That's very gentlemanlike. Any other single girls here? Oh, you want to come say hi? Come say hi to Joseph. Hurry the fuck up. Yeah, bro. All this for tacos. What the fuck? Houston is wild. Green salsa. Green salsa. Okay, okay, okay. All right. That should be... I, that shit works, I guess, bro. All right, girls. Are y'all coming for Joseph or not? Oh, here she comes. Oh, we got another one, Joseph. Wow, look at that. Here she comes. Oh, no, she's going to the... Uh, Damn, my bad. She went to go take a shit, bro. My bad. <laughs> Fuck. My bad, bro. The tacos got her excited, bro. Okay, I think that's it, though. So there's no girls in the back? Come on down. God damn, these girls are autistic. Oh. Are they coming or not? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, over there. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. All right, here we go. One more, one more. Okay. And Oh, here she comes. She's ready. All right, what a, this is exciting. This is the last round, okay? Hello, hi, what's your name? Genesis. Genesis. Yo, keep it going for Genesis and all these beautiful girls you see on stage. Congratulations, big dog. You did pretty good, man. Tell me, tell me your name, sweetheart. Alina. No, I, Alina. Alina. Keep it going for Alina, too, please. We're gonna start with Eilina. You know, I like your I like your confidence. I like your personality. I think you're really like you're cool as fuck, Eilina. Let's get to know you a little bit. Where you from in Houston? Well, I'm from New York, actually. Oh, you from New York? That's why you got that confidence. So, uh, okay. So, what you doing out here in Houston? Are you uh, chilling out here? I'm a nurse. Okay, so you just you moving around? Okay. So, how long you in town for? I'm here for a little bit. Oh, all right. Now, Eilina, when I, can I ask you this? When you when you saw Joseph on stage? What caught your attention by him? His beard. I'm a beard owner. Wow. Yeah, man. And he, you know, he can, he can get shaves up every week at the barber shop, too. <laughs> my brother's my barber. But that's my boy. Okay. Okay. Right. Way to bring the energy down, Joseph. God damn, bro. I'm trying to lift this guy up. Every time he just puts my hand down. All right, here we go. So, Eileen, you're, 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 you know, you're great. And, what, and you said you're a travel nurse. You're in town for a little bit. All right, very cool, man. What kind, what's, what's your type usually? What do you go for, guys with beards or anything else? Guys with 
jobs with beards, smart, have a, a good job, because I have a good job, and funny. You got to make me laugh. You got to make me laugh. Okay, all right. Keep it going for Eileen one time. All right, tell me your name again. Rachel. Rachel, all right, Rachel. All right, all right. Rachel, you know, where you, what, what part of Houston are you from? I'm from Garwood, Texas. Garwood, Texas. Okay, is that far? It's the country. Okay. Now, Rachel, uh, what do you do for a living right now? I'm a private sitter, but I am also a sterile processing. You're a private? Uh, I'm a private sitter, but I'm also a sterile processing tech. Sterile processing. Okay, cool. You got a job. Fire. <laughs> fire, fire. Now, can I, can, I be, can I ask you, Rachel, like, when you saw Joseph, like, what caught your attention about this guy? That beard. Oh, oh, oh wow. Homie's about to start growing out the beard and shit in the audience, bro. All right, very nice. Now, what about you? Uh, tell me your name and where you from. My name is Genesis. I'm from Victoria, Texas. Okay, fire. And what do you do for a living right now? I'm in sales and I'm a notary. You're, oh, you're in sales. You're in do notary? And then you know, and when you saw when you saw the homie on stage, what what caught your attention? He's super handsome. Whoa, Joseph! Wow. Now, ladies, Eileen, ladies, he said for the first date, his idea of a romantic first date is tacos. You know, y'all y'all obviously. Y you said what? I know a nice taco truck in Westheimer. Wow. What, your, what, what, what are your thoughts on the tacos? You like the tacos? They ain't got shit on my mama's tacos. Oh, her mama's tacos. Let's go. What about you, sweetheart? What about, what's your thoughts on tacos for a first date? Do you like that or not? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. With the green salsa and the asada onions. Oh, you want the green sauce with the onions too, huh? He got you with that one at the end. Wow. That, was a, that shit worked, bro. Good job. I didn't... I, I slept on the onions, bro. Okay, all right, let's go. All right, big dog, so fucking, okay, okay, Joseph. I, I'm sorry I, I underestimated you. <laughs> I honestly did not expect this many, but you know what, Joseph, the ball's in your court, big dog. You have options, so let's ask these ladies some, you wanna get to know them a little bit? You have any questions? Uh, not really, I like them tiny. You like a, oh, you want, wow, you want that, that one? Wow, Already. okay, Joseph, well, Let's say thank you to all these other beautiful women. Eilina, thank you so much for coming on stage. Very nice to meet you. Thank you so much for coming on stage. All right. Wow. Joseph didn't waste any time. He's like, I'll take the tiny one. <laughs> you you want to come over here? Come on, Rachel. Come over here. Rachel, come over here. All right, come on, come on. All right, guys, should they go on the first? Oh. You guys want to see a beso? Houston, Texas, do you want to see a beso? Let's go. Beso, 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 beso. None of your brothers over here, right? No, no, no. Let's go, let's go. I like how he tries to find couples. I think that's really cute. Trying to make people to come together, trying to start relationships. I think that's pretty cute. The whole show, like, it was so funny. I could not stop laughing. Pinpointed, pinpointed, D different cultures. I loved it, that shit was funny. Uh, ooh, the second show, the late show, one thing I will say, the women were, uh, I think I, I said, uh, they had big pussy energy. 
because they would come on stage yeah, and like yeah, grab yeah, yeah, the guy's yeah. hand, be like, "You're coming with me." And I kind of like was like, "Thank God," because the guys were like, in the beginning, low key shy until the last dude mm-hmm. was obviously like. Yeah. I guess he went over these girls with tacos. Yeah, 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 that was crazy. I was like, whoa, like, homie, all he had to do was have a beard and say tacos, and he had, like, three girls, <laughs> and, uh, yeah. yeah, bro, he had the most options of the night. I now. still feel like... But, uh, man. Remember when the room went crazy? I don't know, that girl said something, and then you were like, maybe you Maybe your oh, pussy yeah, attracts yeah, the wrong yeah, thing, yeah, and yeah, we yeah. just heard like yeah, it was maybe, crazy. Maybe your pussy attracts trash men. Trash, you yeah. Maybe your pussy attracts trash men. Yeah. That was yeah. crazy. Yeah. When you said that, I was like, God damn. He said, Welcome to the internet. Yeah. He, he was like, <laughs> like, like Welcome he to TikTok, up, bitch. Like, up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, man. If you guys enjoyed this video, drop a little comment, drop a like. Let us know uh, your favorite moments. Make sure you follow the homie Anthony A. Follow the homie Brandon Gonzalez. Thank you. You know, and uh, we appreciate you. You already know, subscribe and smash the like button. Love you guys. Ja, ja, ja.